Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and so I've been seeing a lot of news around like burn 9800X 3Ds because two people couldn't figure out how to put a CPU into a CPU socket. Um, and so I figured I'd make a video about, you know, you can't just, like you should put your CPU into the CPU socket properly and then it won't burn. Um, so anyway, there was two cases of this. The first one I saw was on Reddit, which is this one. And the other one I saw uh, is, well, the one that prompted me to make this video is this one from Quasar Zone, uh, which led to this Tom's Hardware article. Um, and yeah, so, um, you know, another mangled socket, some burnt pins. Uh, do we have a picture of the dead CPU? No, no picture of dead CPU, but uh, socket mangled in plenty. So, um, how did this happen? Well, uh, that's really simple. If we start with the Reddit post, um, we can zoom in on the CPU socket a bunch, and that's too much zoom in. Um, what you'll notice is how we have a bunch of sheared off plastic over here, and then uh, the keying notch over here is kind of messed up. I wonder how that happened, because when you put the CPU into the socket properly, um, there's a gap around that notch. This is like straight up, there is a gap around that notch. Uh, you'll also notice that the substrate basically doesn't touch the outer edges of the C like socket plastic, except for the very tips of the substrate, right? Like the very corners sort of look like they're making a, like sort of look like they're touching the, the 45 degree slope on the outer edges. Um, and that's basically it. Right, like this is this is what it looks like when you put your CPU into the socket properly, and this is what it looks like when you do this. And my reasoning for that is especially the damage to the notch, because you'll notice that yeah, the cutout on the sub CPU substrate, if it's not aligned with the notch properly, takes a curved bite out of the notch. In, yeah, like. Um, Real mystery. And then, of course, the other thing is like, oh, the corner of the CPU is riding up onto the corner of the socket. Which would explain why there's a bunch of sheared off plastic. Also, I kind of suspect that the CPU here might have a bent corner, but we can't really tell from this photo. We seem to maybe have some substrate damage over here, but that could also just be thermal paste or something. Um, but, um... Uh, yeah, like if you have the CPU at an angle and then you close the socket, it's going to do this. It's going to take a bite out of the keying notch, at least if you have it at this angle, it's going to bite, you know, it's going to take a bite out of the keying notch. It's going to shear the plastic on the corner. The Quasar Zone thing is the same, like as far as I'm concerned, same mechanism of call, like damage creation. Um, except in the opposite direction. So the Reddit post, the CPU was riding up onto this corner. The Quasar Zone CPU is riding up onto this corner because it took a bite out of this side of the keying notch, right? So um, instead of like this overlapping, it's this side overlapping this right here. Um, now, my guess as to how this probably happened is both of these people tried to install the CPU with the motherboard vertical, because if the motherboard was horizontal, like laying flat on a desk or something, uh, you'd have to basically be blind to think that this is okay. But if you're trying to install a CPU while the motherboard is vertical in a system, right, you need one hand to hold the CPU in place and the other hand to close the latch. And at some point, you need to take your hand off of the CPU, right, so that the latch can close. Because you can't close it if your hand, like, if your hand is holding the CPU in place, because if you let go of it, gravity will pull it out, right? Because you're being a dumbass and installing the CPU while the system is vertical. Um, so you, at some point, you're going to need to take your hand off of the CPU, right? So if you get the CPU lined up properly, at the moment that they take their hand off, the CPU probably slips a little bit, um, you know, down, or they slightly push, or they accidentally push the CPU upwards or something, and then they close the latch anyway, and then it mangles the CPU socket and shorts out the, the pins. And just don't do that. Just, like, install the CPU with the system 
horizontal. And then you won't break your $400. Actually, it's more than that. It's like $480 CPU, you know? Um, and you're like $300 motherboard, right? You can, you can avoid $800 of damage by just not being an idiot and laying the system flat. And then you don't have to worry about the CPU not staying in the damn socket because gravity will do it for you. And then you can make sure that the alignment is correct, and then you can close the stupid latch. Instead of doing this. Like, this isn't that complicated. <laughs> so yeah, um, as far as I'm concerned, this is no fault of MSI whatsoever, and these two people are idiots. And unless they're like, a, like, unless they're like a little kid, they don't deserve to get their CPU replaced. And I don't know why a little kid would have a 9800X 3D. <laughs> but like, that is the only excuse for how you could end up doing this as far as I'm concerned. Um, Cause like, yeah, if, if you have the system lying flat, like you'd have to be blind to close the socket with the CPU at this angle. So anyway, that's it for the video. Um, hopefully you found this uh, somewhat interesting. I, I really hope you didn't find this useful because if you need advice on how to put a CPU into a socket, um, maybe you shouldn't be building computers. And uh, if you'd like to support what I do here with actually hardcore overclocking, there are links in the description that you could check out and that would be much appreciated. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's it for this video. Uh, just like install the CPU into the socket properly and then you won't break your motherboard and your CPU. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching and goodbye.